labda tunapasi kwa yetu kumbe uko ndo mtafali na
Karibu Mombasa. Na Mombasa imeamua. Mimi naomba hebu tuwake chini zile maposta. Waka chini mabango na maposta. Haya. Nikisema Harambe unasema UDA. Nikisema UDA unasema kazi ni kazi. Nikisema kazi ni kazi unasema pesa mfukoni. Sawa sawa? Nikisema pesa mfukoni unasema na William Ruto. Sawa? Harambe. UDA. Kazi ni kazi. Pesa mfukoni. Asanteni sana. Haya bila kupoteza wakati. Wacha kwa dakika moja ni mwita mbunge wa Nyali Mwishimua Mwambe Dali Aonga kwa dakika moja alafu tuita Mwishimua Deputy President Mwaha, chap chap, one minute Haya, harambe Mwe vijana mtulia hapo, kidogo mtulia hapo Harambe Harambe Niseme, nisiseme Niseme, nisiseme Nitoboe nisitoboe Nitoboe nisitoboe Number one Sema number one Sema number one Simunaona wale wezi Wameanza kueka mabango hapo Wanasema ati Tuachagwe wataregesha poti yetu Sindio Mimi nataka waende waweke mabango Pale Waseme wataregesha poti yetu kutoka kwa nani sina mna hiyo watu ambie mwizi ni nani sindio sina mna hiyo ya pili tumetbakisha siku kadha tuende katika kipindi cha lala salama tare tisa ya mwezi huu ya mwaka huu ni tare ya kuleta ukombozi pwani na kenya nzima kwa jumla na mimi nataka niseme hivi nikimalizia kwa sababu ya muda. Nataka niseme hivi sisi safari hii hatutakubali mkono wote wa serikali wa kutaka kuiba kura zetu. Nataka kumwambia Regional Commissioner Ilungata na Otieno yale ambao wanapanga wakati wa kupiga kura sisi tunajua na tutakaa macho tutahakikisha uongozi Unatolewa na wananchi wa zalendo wa Kenya wachague rais ambaye wanataka. Sinyenye mtampigia kura William Ruto. Mtampigia kura William Ruto. Wangapi watampigia? Alafu nataka kumwambia, haya tutulie tutulie hapo. Nataka kumwambia Uhuru Kenyatta si yako hapa Mombasa. Si mnajua kwa hapa. Si mnajua kwa hapa Mombasa nataka kumwambia Uhuru Kenyatta wewe ulisema sisi na ukasema naibu wa rais anaongea uongo kuhusu bandari leo tunataka kukuambia wewe kama mwenyekiti wa azimio utueleze hiyo bandari mtairegesha kutoka wapi leo sisi tunataka kukuambia wewe Ali Hassan Joe Katerina umesema ya kwamba Ukikuwa waziri wa ardhi utaregesha ekari 1500 sisi tunataka kukuambia uanze na ekari 1030 ya uhuru muigai Kenyatta Mumenisikia kweli hili? Mumenielewa? Mumenielewa? Niseme nisiseme. Nitoboe nisitoboe. Tunataka uhuru Kenyatta Atuambie ile ardhi ekari 1030 atuambie ameipata vipi na ni kwa nini wa Kenya wanakaa maskota tarehe tisa mwezi wa nane tutahakikisha hawa watoto wote wa hasla wako na mahale ya kukaa na wako na nyumba ya kuishi kwa sababu mtu mmoja hawezi kula inchi peke yake si namna hiyo tuko pamoja Tumwambie uhuru Kenyatta kwenda. Tumwambie uhuru Kenyatta kwenda. Mwambie tumechoka. Tumechoka. Mombasa yeye. Yote yawezekana bila uhuru yote yawezekana. Yote yawezekana. Yote yawezekana.
Tarehe tisa mukienda kupiga kura muhakikishe ya kwamba hizo fomu za IBC mnapewa nyuma imepigwa muhuri ya IBC muende mpige kura muende mulinde kura yenu tarehe tisa William Ruto kama rais wa Jamhuri ya Kenya Hassan Omar kama gavana wa Mombasa bandari ya Mombasa tarehe kumi tunaileta hapa Mombasa Aya sasa tutamwita mbunge wa Kisauni ndugu yangu mheshimiwa Ali Meza Mbogo Aya Mombasa hoye Mombasa hoye wataweza watamweza Ruto ni rasi raha ni rasi raha kuwa na William Ruto ndani ya Mombasa ni rasi raha nione mikono ya Ruto iko wapi ndugu zangu leo leo tumekuja hapa ndugu zangu watu wa Mombasa mnajua mimi na mheshimiwa Sonko tulikuwa debeni kukomboa Mombasa ni kweli ya urongo ni kweli ya urongo lakini mnajua wale wazee yule mzee kutoka Saikuru yule anaitwa Kalonzo Musyoka alikaa na mabonyenye wa Mombasa akatupiga bei mchana asubuhi na mapema aende nyumbani Kalonzo asiende aende homo asiende aende Saikuru asiende sisi tunamshukuru naibu wa rais mheshimiwa William Ruto akaniita mimi na mheshimiwa Sonko akasema kama mnataka kuondoa madepari mnataka kuondoa mabonyenye mnataka kuondoa waizi wa Mombasa ni lazima tuungane tutengeneze serikali ya umoja wa watu wa Mombasa ili tuweze kuleta mabadiliko wangapi wanataka umoja wa Mombasa wangapi wako tayari tutengeneze serikali ya Mombasa na mheshimiwa Ruto akatuambia tumuunge mkono mheshimiwa Hassan Sarai wangapi wanasimama na Sarai tarehe tisa ndugu zangu sisi tumeamua kuweka personal ambition zetu nyuma tukaweka matakwa ya watu wa Mombasa mbele ili tuweze kuregesha Mombasa katika mikono salama ya watu wa Mombasa ndugu zangu kura ya Jumanne ijayo ni kura ya asira it's a protest vote tunapiga kwa uchungu tunapiga kuondoa joo joo aende wapi joo aende wapi joo aende wapi joo aende wapi na yule project yake Abdul Somad yule jamaa wa Mvita yule jamaa amefoji degree aende wapi nataka kuona kwa mikono Abdul Somad aende wapi aende wapi na tarehe tisa Mwenyezi Mungu akipenda kama mheshimiwa Ruto anavyosema mtoto wa maskini atakuwa ndani ya state au safari hii au namna gani mheshimiwa Ruto anatuambia alikuwa akiuza kuku akienda shule ni kweli au rongo kwa hivyo kuna ubaya mtoto amuuza kuku akienda state house wangapi anasema Ruto state house state house wangapi na kuna shida mheshimiwa Mbogo akiwa waziri wa ardhi ndani ya Mombasa wangapi anasema Mbogo tosha kama waziri sasa nataka kumalizia ni waulize swali Joe amepromisiwa waziri wa ardhi na azimio na Mbogo amepromisiwa waziri wa ardhi na William Ruto nani mnaamini nani mnaamini nani atakomboa mashamba Ruto yuko na, na formula kukomboa mashamba ameweka 150 billion ya kununua mashamba ili watu wa Mombasa na pwani nzima waweze kupata mashamba yao. Wangapi wanataka mashamba yao? Mikono ya Ruto iko wapi? Ruto tosha toshi. Ruto anatosha toshi. Asanteni sana na Mungu awabariki. Haya Mombasa! Mombasa! Haya. Sasa Ningependa kusema hivi. Vijana pale tulia wewe, tulia wewe. Moyo wewe tulia. Ningependa kusema hivi. Pale mzizima watu walibomolewa nyumba, kinyama. Wakafukuzwa wakatolewa nje. Juzi 
Bakstani mliona vile walifanya? Na likoni mmeona vile wamefanya? Sasa watu wachangamwe. Wangapi wanatoka changamwe hapa? Changamwe changamwe. Changamwe wamepeana notice. Chuda wamepeana notice. Muoroto Islam wamepeana notice wapige watu kinyama wawatoe. Mimi nawaambia wananchi wa Mombasa tarehe tisa baada ya mheshimiwa William Samoe Ruto ameapishwa kama rais wa tano hao watu wote mambo nyenye ambao wamezoea kupiga wananchi wa Hii ni maisha yenu wananchi wa Mombasa. Mabwenyenye wote lazima waende wapi? Wale askari wa county wameangaisha mama zetu kwa mitaa. Wengi wao wamezeeka. Hawa wote wataenda nyumbani tarehe. Tutahakikisha hizo kazi zinakuja kwenu nyinyi vijana wa Mombasa county. Tunakubaliana hiyo tafadhali ni mimi nanyenyekea kwa sababu ya wakati tumekuwa na nyinyi muda wote wananchi wa Mombasa mimi si mnajua ndio songo au masongo yote duniani si mnajua mimi ndio mtetezi wa nyonge duniani na unajua William Ruto ametufuta machozi wangapi wamekasirika na ile mambo tumefanywa na serikali mimi nalibogo hebu niende kwa mkono si mlikuwa mnasema mtapiga kura ya governor Huyu mheshimiwa William Samoe Ruto alipoona vile tumefanyiwa alituita akatufucha machozi kwa niaba yenu. Namjua sisi tumeteswa na mheshimiwa Ali Mbogo kwa sababu nyinyi wananchi mlikuwa tayari kutuchagua sisi tuweze kuwakomboa. Kwa hivyo mimi naomba huyu mungwana ile wema amefanyia nyinyi wananchi wa Mombasa. Kwa sababu kama mimi ndio nimeimpichiwa ama mimi ndio mbaya, Ali Mbogo ni mbaya. Nyinyi ni mbaya. Nyinyi si wabaya, si ndio? Na sisi tunajua. Sisi tunajua. Sisi tunajua watu walijikojolea, si ndio? Wakajiaria, si ndio? Na bado. Kwa hivyo mimi na wanyenyekea wananchi wa Mombasa, tafadhalini na waomba Mwenyezi Mungu akiwa shahidi na wapigia magoti tarehe tisa mwezi wa nane tumpatia huyu mwana William Samoe Ruto kura kama rais wa jamhuri ya Kenya tumekubaliana hiyo haya alafu pale kwa ugavana kwa ugavana tumesema ni Hassan Omar Sara ukienda kwa ballot box ukienda kwa ballot box hautapata jina ya Hassan Sarai utapata jina ya Hassan Omar Hassan alama yake ni wilbaro na dada yetu Selina Maisa tumekubaliana hiyo Aya wacha sasa nimkaribishe kwa mapenzi yake Mwenyezi Mungu atakayekuwa the second governor wa Mombasa County Mheshimiwa Hassan Omar Hassan Asante Harambe Harambe watu wa Mombasa kwa heshima kubwa na kwa unyenyekevu tumefika ule wakati ambapo Mombasa yetu leo iko katika hali ngumu bandari zetu na rasilimali zetu zimechukuliwa na mabwenyenye watu ambao wamenufaisha familia zao na kuwatia wengi wetu katika maafa dhiki na umaskini Watu ambao tumewapa majukumu watuletee na watulinde wao ndio wakanyang'anya ardhi zetu na estate zetu watu ambao tuliwaambia watusaidie tuwe na maji katika majumba yetu badala ya kuletea maji wakaleta brown na katirina watu ambao tuliwaambia tutaka tuwe na huduma za afya tutaka tuwe na 
badala ya kuimarisha huduma za afya wakaamua waibe pesa na rasilimali zetu na wakawaza kulipa wafanyikazi wa county kudhaifisha huduma za county yetu hii kura ya tarehe tisa tumeungana wengi tumecreate kitu inaitwa coalition ya mageuzi walimngoa Suleman Shabal Shabal yeye akayumba yumba lakini dadangu Selina Maitha akamwambia Shahbal mimi siwezi kwenda na project mimi nasimama na wakenya wengine Selina akaja ndio deputy governor wa Mombasa inshallah tarehe tisa mwezi huu wakamfanyia sonko dhulma wakamfanyia alimbogo dhulma lakini kwa mapenzi ya Mungu sonko ameungana na sisi na inshallah tarehe tisa mwezi wa nane Mombasa itaripuka Mombasa itageuza Mombasa itampeleka Katrina yake shamba la Kinyata ndani ya Naivasha wakaipelekwa kwa Jeuri na mimi nawaambia kwa lugha ya mudavadi mundu kwa mundu mtaregesha bandari hapa tarehe kumi mwezi huu sisi hatuuziwi uoga sisi hatuogopi mtu sisi tumekuja kukomboa Mombasa tuko na kina Salim Mvuria tuko na kina William Kingi tuko na kina Isha Jumwa kwa na kina Muhammad Ali hata Mombasa hata Pwani hata sote tumepanda vijana wetu mashujaa na inshallah tarehe tisa tutaikomboa Mombasa yetu kutoka mzee wa kitandawili na waomba kwa unyenyekevu wakati namaliza manake hili jukwaa ni jukwaa la deputy president ambaye kwa uwezo wa Mungu atakuwa president wa jamhuri ya Kenya tuli asubuhi leo askari walikuwa wamehuzuia huu mkutano nikampigia county commissioner simu nikamwambia sisi kama Kenya kwanza hatuwezi kutishika tulimpa uhuru kinyata katiba inayolinda wa Kenya uhuru kinyata kama anafanya mkutano wake wacha hapo pale 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 mahali pa makupa hata nge... hapa hana haki ya kufuta huu mkutano nikamwambia nitaleta raia wa Kenya hapa muko na mambo mawili aidha muwalinde ama muwauwe na mumeamua kuwalinda na sisi tutailinda idara ya polisi tukiwa katika serikali hii hii ya Kenya hiyo hiyo ni ushahidi kwamba huyu amri jeshi wa Kenya kwamba huyu amri jeshi wa Kenya tarehe kumi hawezi hata kuamrisha yule bodyguard wake wa chooni amri yake kwa majeshi na kwa idara ya polisi inakwisha tarehe kumi uhuru ene maliza uende kwa salama we are looking forward to a peaceful transition you give us peace we will let you rest in peace if you give us any other thing you will live to regret this is inchi ya mtu mmoja hii ni inchi inabeba halaiki ya wa Kenya 50 million of us this is our country kwa hivyo to kuomba you must live in peace ruto hana shida na wewe mimi sina shida na wewe sonko hana shida na wewe mudavadi hana shida na wewe wewe shida yako umeuibia wa Kenya na wazungu wasema it is time for the chicken to come home to roost na mwisho yule mzee wa kitandawili ambaye anaita hii ngome yake vipi Mombasa itakuwa ngome yako wakati sisi tunaishi na umaskini vipi Mombasa itakuwa ngome yako wakati mji wetu ni mchafu vipi Mombasa ni ngome yako wakati gavana wako anadhulumu watu wetu vipi Mombasa ni ngome yako wakati mji wetu unaporomoka na bandari yetu imechukuliwa na kwa pia ni ile wazungu walisema na wengine wakaimba na namalizia hapo 
na muambie wale watu wachungwa bovu you can fool some people sometimes but you can't fool all the people all the time kwa hivyo mwisho wacha tuone kwa mikono ni wangapi wanasema rais wa tano wa jamhuri ya Kenya ni William Kipchirchir Samoe Arab Ruto na heshima na taadhima na kwa unyenyekevu mkubwa kwa mara ya pili naomba fursa niwe governor to do justice to all and to include everyone to the discrimination of none ni nani anasema governor wa pili na deputy wake ni Hassan Omar Sarai na Selina Maitha tuone kwa ishara asante sana Mungu awabariki haya Mombasa Mombasa haya tutaenda kule Kilifi County governor wa Kilifi his excellency Amazon Kingi Mombasa oye Pwani oye Ndugu zangu wa Pwani mimi nataka nizungumzie mambo matatu La kwanza ni bandari ya Mombasa Kumekuwa na uongo mwingi kuhusu mambo ya bandari ya Mombasa Lakini leo Nataka nipasue mbarika kuhusu bandari yetu ya Mombasa. Sisi tunajua wazi kwamba utendakazi wa bandari ya Mombasa uliondoshwa hapa na serikali ya Jubilee ikiongozwa na mheshimiwa Uhuru Mwigai Kenyatta ambaye kwa sasa ndiye mwenyekiti he is the chairman of azimio kwa hivyo hautakosea ukisema kwamba azimio ndiyo ilichukua utendakazi wa bandari ya Mombasa ukapeleka Nairobi na Naivasha you will not be wrong to say actually it is azimio who did this heinous act kwa hivyo mimi nashangaa ikiwa the presidential candidate wa azimio mheshimiwa Raila Odinga he has the audacity kuja hapa pwani na kuweka mabango halafu na kejeli wa pwani anaweka yet interrogation port yenu it is your sponsor who took our port it is your boss who took our port don't talk to us about returning the port operations Talk to Uhuru Kenyatta to return the port operations back to Mombasa. Muzora ilo situfanya sisi ni mapimbi. Wajinga wameisha hapa pwani Raila. Wakati leo nakuja hapa kutuhada. That time is gone. Muzee Juza alikuwa kule naivasha kule mzee Raila. Akasema kwamba yeye ana ushawishi mkubwa sana katika serikali ya Jubilee eti yeye ndiye alimshawishi mheshimiwa uhuru kenyata ashukushe bei ya unga kutoka 230 mpaka 100 kitu moja kinatushangaza kwa mzee Raila if you can be able to persuade uhuru kenyata to reduce the price of unga why don't you go ahead and persuade him to bring back the port operations before you become the president of this country ni kitu gani kinakushinda leo hii uambie bosi wako you talk to your sponsor to bring back the port operations here lakini yeye anafikiri sisi atatubeba ufala wapwani wenzangu wapwani wenzangu ule wakati wa Raila kutubeba ufalo umeisha we are no longer political slave to Raila Odinga on the 9th of August wapwani freedom is coming Nataka niwe on board we are no longer political slaves of one Raila Odinga ametudanganya kwa miaka mingi but we have finally seen the light and on the 9th of August we are saying enough is enough wapani mnasemaje enough is enough lengine la pili ni kuhusu mashamba haiwezekani kisauni mzima inalipa kodi kwa absent landlords ni kweli si kweli Haiwezekani changamwe. Haiwezekani likoni. Haiwezekani jumvu. Tunalipa pesa kodi ya kukaa kwa ardhi to absentee landlords. Miaka zaidi ya hamsini 
Mukwana anaitwa Squatter. Lakini nataka niwaambie wapwani wenzangu. On the 9th of August, once we elect one William Arab Samoy, nataka niwaambie hivi, humu mwana akiapishwa one of the agenda, one of the plan of Kenya kwanza. Kuanzia vanga mupaka faza lamu haya mapande ya ardhi yote ambao wapwani wamekalia na wanatesa na wabonyenye the Kenya Kwanza government is going to buy all this land na wapwani watapatiwa mashamba yao kisauni mombasa freedom is coming munanisikiza ndugu zangu munanisikiza on the 9th of august nataka niwambi kwamba Freedom is coming. Ardhi tutazipata kama vile Kenya bara ilivyopata. La mwisho na la tatu. Msihadaiwe wapwani na hizi opinion polls bandia. Eti wanasema kura ikipigwa leo ati Raila atakuwa rais. The biggest joke of our time. Mimi nataka niwaambie wapwani mwaka na saba Mzee Raila alitafuta rais akutafuta alitafuta akutafuta opinion polls ilimuonyesha uko mbele sio alikuwa rais si alienda bondo kwa hivyo opinion polls are just opinion polls today i want to tell you one thing there are two people there is the king of fake opinion polls and the fifth president of this country the king of fake opinion polls is one Raila Amolo Odinga and the fifth president of the Republic of Kenya come the 9th of August is one William Samoe Ruto Nani William Samoe Ruto Nani wanasema kura yetu inaenda kwa Ruto Wapi kura ya Ruto Asanteni sana pwani let us stick to William because freedom is coming thank you so much Aya Unajua mimi niko na kaunti nne. Niko na magavana wanne. Huyu mheshimiwa Amason Kingi ukienda Kilifi yeye ni gavana wangu. Ukienda Machakos Alfred Mutua pale bado ni gavana wangu. Alafu kwale gavana Mvuria bado ni gavana wangu. Alafu Hassan Omar Mombasa bado ni gavana wangu. Sasa wote tumkaribishe gavana gav Governor Wakwale, His Excellency Mheshimiwa Mvuria. Mombasa oye. Mombasa oye. Pwani oye. Tarehe tisa wa pwani ni siku muhimu. Ni siku ambayo tunaenda kuikomboa pwani. Ni siku ya kuikomboa Mombasa. Na tunajua watu wa azimio wameanza kubabaika. Si umeona juzi ati wamesema waliteremsha bei ya unga. Hiyo unga inapatikana. Unga inapatikana. Hiyo unga hakuna ama hakuna. Tarehe tisa ndiyo siku tunaenda kupiga kura ili mashamba yetu ya pwani yanunuliwe na serikali tuwe na vieti vya shamba tarehe tisa ndio tunaenda kupiga kura ili shughuli na biashara za bandari zirudi Mombasa ili wale wenye makampuni ya clearing wafanye kazi hapa vijana wapate kazi kazi iendelee siendelee tarehe tisa mwezi wa nane tunapiga kura Mombasa irudi hadhi yake irudi kuwa lango la Afrika Mashariki na ndio maana tarehe tisa tuende tupigie kura William Samoei Ruto awe rais wa Jamhuri ya Kenya hebu nione mikono ya William Ruto Ruto aendelee asiendelee wale watu wa azimio na Raila Odinga hawana jipya yale mambo yote ambayo wametueleza hapo awali tumejua ni watapeli na ni watapeli pamoja na yule sponsor wao wa azimio watu wa pwani watu wa Mombasa tumefungua macho 
Tarehe tisa tusikosee tena tupigie William Ruto na Kenya kwanza hadi ya pwani uchumi wa pwani uweze kurudi kama kawaida watu wa Mombasa mna nafasi muhimu ya kupigia kura governor Hassan Omar ili aweze kurudisha hadhi ya mji wa Mombasa hebu nione kura ya Hassan Omar na Selina Maita Omar yaendelea siendelee na msisahau seneta Mwaguya msisahau women rep Fatma Barayan msisahau yule yule jitopevu wa nyali msimsahau aendelea siendelee na nyinyi mnajionea wazi hii meli ya Kenya kwanza si inaendelea kujaa walipo mdhulumu rafiki yetu Sonko na yule Alimbogo si sasa hii timu imekuwa moja tunawaomba watu wa Mombasa mpige block vote kwa Kenya kwanza tupate gavana wa Kenya kwanza na rais wetu William Ruto azidi kuongoza Kenya hii jambo la mwisho wa Kenya wa Kenya tumekuwa werevu mambo ya kutupeperushia karatasi za uchochezi sisi wa Kenya tumekataa na tumewaona wako very disparate mpaka jamaa ati wanataka watupange ili waendelee na kufanya mambo katika taifa letu la Kenya na wauliza watu wa Mombasa nyinyi ni wale wa kupangwa ama umejipanga ate mumesemaje Mombasa ate mumesemaje Mombasa wangwana wa Mombasa mimi nataka niwaambie ndugu zangu watu wa Mombasa tumekubaliana ya kwamba mambo ya viongozi na vyeo na mamlaka itangoja mpaka kwanza tupange uchumi wa taifa letu la Kenya watu wa Mombasa nataka msikie hivi tumekubaliana agenda yetu number one 
ni kupunguza gharama ya maisha bei ya unga imepanda petroli imepanda mafuta imepanda unga imepanda ni kweli ama si kweli ni kweli ama si kweli tunawaambia watu wa Mombasa hii bei ya unga imepanda kwa sababu hawa majamaa wa handshake walifuta ile subsidy ya fertilizer ya wakulima wetu wakulima wakashindwa kununua fertilizer wakashindwa kununua mbolea ndio mambo ya kuzalisha chakula ikaenda chini ndio ndio sababu leo tuko na njaa katika taifa letu la Kenya na hii njaa wacha niwaambie watu wa Mombasa haijawahi tangu Kenya iwe taifa huru haijawahi kufika unga shilingi 230 hawa jamaa wa handshake wamefikisha unga 230 hata wakati unga iliongezeka ilikuwa 140 hawa majamaa wamesukuma mpaka 230 kwa sababu wengi wa hawa viongozi kindanawili na wenzake hawa ni majamaa hawajawahi kulala njaa hata siku moja wanasoma kulala njaa kwa magazeti hawa jamaa watu wa Mombasa mnanielewa Mombasa tunaelewana tunawaambia hivi sisi kama Kenya kwanza ile mbolea inauzwa elfu saba tunaweka elfu mbili tunawasaidia wakulima waweze kuzalisha chakula zaidi tuondoe mabrokas tuondoe makatel chakula ifike hapa ikiwa bei nafuu ili kila mkenya aweze kulisha familia yake na tuweze kuondoa aibu ya njaa katika taifa letu la Kenya Mombasa tunaelewana jambo la pili vijana wa Mombasa nataka munisikize kwa makini my friends kwa sababu nataka siku ya Jumanne wakati unaenda kupiga kura uende upige kura ukijua unapiga kura kwa sababu gani mimi nawauliza vijana wa Mombasa vijana muko vijana wa Mombasa muko hebu nione wae vijana wa Mombasa nione kwa mkono nione kwa mkono ndugu zangu vijana wa Mombasa nataka niwaambie hivi tumekubaliana kama Kenya kwanza Atua yetu ya kwanza ni kupanga ajira ya hawa vijana. Vijana milioni tano wametoka shule, wamemaliza shule na vijana hawa hawana ajira, wako na certificate, diploma, wengine degree. Tumesema kama Kenya kwanza tunaweka bilioni mbili katika mambo ya agro processing, value addition, manufacturing tutahakikisha kwamba tuko na textile industry tuko na leather industry tuko na industries ambazo zitatusaidia kuajiri vijana wa taifa letu la Kenya kila kijana awe na ajira aweze kujisimamia na asimamie fa, eh, familia yake na asimamie mambo yetu ya taifa letu la Kenya vijana muko hebu nione vijana wa Mombasa ambao wanakubali ya kwamba Sikizeni vijana ndugu zangu tumekubaliana hata na nyinyi wazazi tafadhali wazazi wa Mombasa mkubali jameni tuwe na serikali ambaye itapanga ajira ya vijana wetu wa taifa letu la Kenya ili tuhakikisha kwamba hawa vijana wetu wazizame kwa mambo ya madawa wasizame kwa mambo ya ulevi vijana wa taifa letu la Kenya wawe na nafasi ya kuchangia elimu yao nguvu zao pamoja na talanta zao katika kupeleka taifa letu la Kenya mbele pole 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 tunaelewana jameni watu wa Mombasa tumekubaliana hebu nione wale wanasema tumekubaliana jameni watu wa Mombasa mimi nataka niwaambie vile vile tumekubaliana kazi ni kazi wewe mwananchi wa kawaida hapa Mombasa vile tunaweka pesa ya serikali katika kampuni kubwa mimi nataka niwatangazie tutaweka pesa ya serikali kwa biashara ya mwananchi wa kawaida wale mnafanya kazi madukani wale mnafanya kazi kule sokoni wale mnafanya kazi hata ya boda boda mimi nawatangazia ya kwamba mwaka huu vile tunaweka pesa ya serikali kwa kampuni kubwa tutaweka pesa ya serikali kwa biashara yako wewe mtu mwananchi wa kawaida hapa Mombasa tumekubaliana na tumesema tunaweka hasla fund bilioni hamsini ili kila mkenya ambaye anafanya biashara na huku chini 
waweze kupata pesa ya kuinua biashara yao katika ile mpango yetu ya bottom up bottom bottom hebu nione watu wa bottom up wale watu wa bottom up bottom up bottom up bottom up hey naona Mombasa kweli mumeamua Mombasa mumeamua Mombasa mumeamua na mimi nataka niwaambie pia tumekubaliana hamutauza mali yenu tena ili kulipa gharama ya hospitali gharama ya hospitali kuanzia leo tukienda mbele baada ya tarehe tisa mwezi wa nane tutakuwa na bima ambayo itajumuisha wa Kenya wote kila mkenya aweze kwenda hospitali atibiwe na aende nyumbani bila ya kuulizwa pesa yeyote kwa sababu gharama yote ya hospitali italipwa na bima ya afya ambayo itasimamiwa na serikali ya Kenya. Mombasa tumekubaliana. Tumekubaliana. Mimi nataka niwaambie watu wa Mombasa, wale tunashindana na wao, kitendawili na wenzake hawana mpango. Hawana sera. Hawana ajenda. Ni kweli ama si kweli? Kama wangekuwa na ajenda kitendawili na wenzake, wangekuja kukutana na mimi pale kwa presidential debate. Walikuja? Muliwaona? Walikuja kwa presidential debate? Si waliingia kwa nyasi? Si waliingia kwa kichaka? Si waliingia mitini? Si walitoroka? Walitoroka watu wa Mombasa kwa sababu hawana ajenda. Hawana mpango. Hawana sera. Na unajua pale kwa debate wewe mtu wa Mombasa auweze kuja na ile story eh kitendawili haiwezekani kwa debate hiyo mambo ya kitendawili TV mnatiala la haiwezekani kwa debate Ni kweli ama si kweli Ndio ule jamaa wa, wa, wa kitendawili alikimbia akatoroka Na mimi nataka niwaambie watu wa Mombasa huyo jamaa aliponea chupu chupu Nilikuwa nimempangia pale kwa debate kama angejaribu kuja angekiona angetoka hapo akienda hospitalini Nyenye mnanielewa Nyenye mnanielewa Nyenye mnanielewa Nilikuwa nataka nimuulize jamaa wa kitendawili wewe mzee wa kitendawili umeleta serikali ya handshake serikali ya handshake ndio imehamisha poti ya Mombasa ikahamisha port operation ikaenda Nairobi wale watu wachache wenye ubinafsi wakahamisha port operation kutoka hapa wakapeleka Nairobi wewe unadanganya watu wa Mombasa eti utarudisha port wewe mwenye kupeleka port utarudisha vipi na wale sponsors wako ndio wamehamisha hiyo port operation kwenda Mombasa akasikia ati iko maswali ya port operation akatoroka kitendawili akaingia kwa nyasi nilikuwa nimemngoja mzee wa kitendawili nimuulize mambo ya kemsa kwa sababu yeye marafiki zake washirika wake ndio wametuibia pesa ya wagonjwa pale kwa Kemsa na alafu wakatuambia wakatudanganya ati siku ishirini na moja wale waliiba pesa ya Kemsa ati watapelekwa kotini leo ni miaka mitatu hata mtu mmoja hajapelekwa kotini wezi wa bilioni kumi na saba wa Kemsa wajapeleka kotini alafu mzee wa kitendawili anatudanganya ati atapigana na ufisadi Mtu ambaye ametuibia pesa ya wagonjwa atapigana na ufisadi. Mzee wa kitendawili wakati alisikia iko maswali ya Kemsa, akaingia mitini, akatoroka, akahepa debate. Mnanielewa jameni? Nilikuwa nimemngoja huyo mungwana, ni muulize wewe ambaye ni kibaraka, ambaye ni project ya wale watu walioteka nyara uchumi wa taifa letu la Kenya kupitia ile mambo ya state capture. Alafu unatudanganya hapa eti wewe utatumikia wa Kenya wewe ukichaguliwa utatumikia wa Kenya atma utatumikia wale sponsors wako ambao ni wa, watu wa state capture wakati kitendawili alisikia iko maswali ya state capture akaekimbia kama risasi akahepa ile debate hajaonekana mpaka leo nyinyi watu wa Mombasa mnanielewa watu wa Mombasa mnanielewa mimi nauliza nyinyi mimi nauliza nyinyi Mtu ambaye ametoroka William Ruto kwa sababu ya maswali, kwa sababu hana sera, kwa sababu hana mpango pale kwa presidential debate, atawezana na changamoto za taifa letu la Kenya? Atawezana? Ule mungwana na wauliza 
atawezana na Al Shabab. Mtu ya kutetemeka hivi akisikia William Ruto anakuja kwa debate atawezana na Al Shabab. Ndio mimi nataka niwaambie ndugu zangu watu wa Mombasa tafadhali musikubali tuchezeshwe karata na hawa watu ambao hawana mpango. Mimi nawaomba kwa unyenyekevu tarehe tisa mwezi wa nane mumakinike tuweze kutengeneza serikali ambayo itajali itapanga na itahakikisha ya kwamba mahitaji matakwa na matatizo ya Kenya yamekabiliwa ili tuweze kutengeneza taifa ambayo haiwachi wa Kenya wengine nyuma watu wa Mombasa jameni mtamakinika tarehe tisa mwezi wa nane mtapanga tutembee pamoja tumekubaliana mimi nataka niseme mambo yangu mawili ya mwisho tumekubaliana mimi nataka niseme hivi ni mpongeze rais leo amekuja kufungua hapa kibarani ile ma, ile bridge tumetengeneza pale na mimi ni mwambie rais mimi nilisema ya kwamba mpango yetu ya big four ambayo ilikuwa ni mambo ya kuhakikisha kwamba kuna ajira tuko na manufacturing tuko na mambo ya housing tuko na mpango wa kilimo ya kuzalisha chakula na tuko na mpango ambayo itawezesha kila mkenya apate bima ya afya mpango yetu ya big four ya term ya pili ili sambaratika mheshimiwa rais na mambo ya handshake yule mtu wa kitenda wili alikuja akakuchanganya mpango yetu ikapotea ya big four akatupeleka huko kwa bbi akatufikisha huko kwa rege alafu akaanza kuturingia at nobody can stop rege Mulisikia hii akisema at nobody can stop rege lakini rege ilisimama haikusimama rege ilikwama haikukwama ndio mtu ya kitenda wili awache uganga ajue kuna mungu mbinguni anaweza kusimamisha hiyo mambo yake ya rege Mombasa mnanielewa Nomba mnanielewa and that is why i want to repeat while in, my, in Mombasa we wasted a whole term where we had a good plan on matters employment of the young people of our country on matters to do with manufacturing and housing on matters to do with enhancing our agriculture and food security our country today is hungry the price of unga has gone to 230 because our big four plan collapsed and i want to say for the record that five years was wasted whether people agree or not and i want to say for the record again that kenya shall never experience another moment like what we saw the last four years and i want to say the following to the people of kenya we are determined to take this country to the next level jambo la pili nataka ni waambie watu wa mombasa port operation hapa mombasa nataka nisimame hapa mbele yenu wakati kitendawili alisikia ati nimesema nitarudisha port operation hapa akaanza kwenda kusema hata yeye mimi nataka nimwambie kitendawili serikali ya handshake yenye wewe ni partner ndio walipeleka mambo ya port operation kutoka mombasa kwenda nairobi wewe utarudisha vipi na wewe ambaye unasema utarudisha wewe ni kibaraka wewe you are being sponsored by wale watu waliohamisha port kutoka hapa kwenda kwenda Nairobi nataka nikwambie bwana kitendawili wacha kudanganya watu wa Mombasa you have no capacity to return the port operations from Nairobi because you are a hostage of the very people who took the port operations to Nairobi therefore you have no capacity whatsoever stop lying to the people of Mombasa you are a hostage of those who caused the people of Mombasa this much pain kweli ama si kweli jameni tunaelewana lakini mimi nawaahidi watu wa Mombasa kwa mapenzi ya Mungu na kura zenu tarehe kumi mkinichagua kama rais wa jamhuri ya Kenya nita sign executive order kwamba port operation sirudi hapa Mombasa vijana elfu saba wa Mombasa waendelee na kazi zao Mwana nielewa jameni nimesikia rais akisema ya kwamba ati mimi nasema uongo nataka nimwambie rais i am a decent human being i don't lie like you know who and i want to say the following that as when i spoke in nakuru and when i speak in mombasa i speak the same language in Mom, in nakuru we undertook when we built the sgr it was not so that we can take the port
operations from Mombasa to Nairobi. We built the SGR to Naivasha because we wanted to have an industrial city in Mombasa, in, 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 in Nakuru, an industrial city in Naivasha, so that we can do our textile, we can do our leather, make young people in Nakuru, in central Kenya, in Rift Valley, to have jobs in the industrial city in Naivasha and connect them to the port operations here in Mombasa. And that is my position. And that is what I am going to do, God willing, if I become the president of Kenya. That is my plan. It is not what you have been told, my brother, Mr. President. I, I have been around long enough, and the people of Kenya have a track record of my character and of what I can do in this great republic of, the, of Kenya. I have been a minister for education. I have been a minister for agriculture and my record stands out. And I want to say the following. Tuko pamoja jameni? Tumekubaliana? Watu wa Mombasa tumekubaliana? Nataka niseme katika rally hii ya mwisho hapa Pwani ya kwamba watu wa Pwani wengi wenu mumeishi kama maskota kwa miaka hamsini. Mimi nasimama hapa mbele yenu ya kwa, na kusema ya kwamba baada ya tarehe kumi vile tulifanya kule bara tutafanya hapa Mombasa tutatumia pesa ya serikali kununua zile shamba zote za absentee landlords tutanunua ekari milioni moja za absentee landlords ili tuweze kuwafanya watu wa hapa pwani waweze kuishi sio kama maskota katika ardhi zao waweze kuishi kama wenyeji tuwapatie hati miliki na muwe wenye maardhi hizi kuanzia hapa mvita kwenda kule kisauni na sehemu zote za hapa pwani and that is my commitment to the people of coast province as we conclude this election tumekubaliana jameni watu wa pwani tumekubaliana tutatembea pamoja hebu ni wale wale wanasema tutatembea pamoja 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 So mimi nataka niwaambie ndugu zangu watu wa Pwani hawa majamaa tayari wanajua tutawashinda on Tuesday na ndio sababu wame, wame, wame wako na tunjama nyingi wanatengeneza opinion kumi opinion poll kumi kwa wiki mbili yani hata ile uongo wanaeneza wenyewe hawaiamini wanaenda kutafuta uongo wengine wanaenda kutafuta uongo wengine lakini hatujali na mambo ya opinion poll ile inatujalisha ni kwamba hawa watu wako na njama ya kuvuruga uchaguzi na tumemwambia rais wa taifa letu la Kenya wewe unaweza kuwa chairman wa azimio lakini ukumbuke wewe ni, ni rais wa jamhuri ya Kenya hatutaki wafanyikazi wa serikali machief na wale wengine wote walazimishwe washurutishwe ati wafanye kuwa campaigners wa azimio sisi tunataka kumwambia rais public officials must remain public officials they should go and vote like all kenyans but they should not be used as puppets or as workers or as errand boys of the azimio failed project yule mtu ya kitandawili na azimio yake watafute wafanyikazi watafute watu ya kuwafanyia campaign wawachane na wafanyikazi wa serikali machief na wale wengine wote ni wafanyikazi wa serikali na ni wafanyikazi wa wakenya wote bila ya kujali mirengo ya siasa tunakubaliana jameni na mimi nataka niwashukuru machief wengi machief wengi Kenya wanatuletea report wamekataa hii njama ya kuvuruga uchaguzi wa taifa letu la Kenya and we want to tell those who are intimidating and, and forcing chiefs to engage in political activity to undermine and sabotage this election that they will carry their cross when the time comes na tunataka tuwaambie machief wetu kila chief ambaye ukikataa mambo haya ya ukora ya azimio hata wakikuvuta kazi mimi nasimama hapa kuambia hata ukifutwa kazi kwa sababu ya kukataa hii mambo wanajaribu kuwafanyisha mambo ya azimio mimi nataka niwaambie machief any chief that will be sacked or will be disciplined i want to tell them 
tutawarudisha kazi tarehe kumi na tuwapatie promotion tunaelewana wangwana Mombasa Mombasa tunaelewana Mombasa tunaelewana mimi na waomba jameni tarehe tisa mwezi wa nane mutupatie kura zenu tuweze kutengeneza taifa letu la Kenya Mungu tayari watu wa Mombasa mutupatie kura zenu Ebu nione kura ya William Ruto nione kura ya William Ruto nione kura ya William Ruto Kitenda wili tutampandisha kwa wilbaro tumpeleke bondo Kitenda wili tumpeleke wapi Kitenda wili tumpeleke wapi Kitenda wili tumpeleke wapi Ataenda akiendanga ama ataenda akingoja Aende akingoja ama aende akiendanga Munasema aende akingoja ama aende akiendanga Munasema aende akiendanga One way Ni kweli ya masikweli Si huyu jamaa wa kitenda wili ya metusumbua jameni Aliangaisha moi mbaka karibu wa pindu ya serikali yake Amekuja akaangaisha kibaki mara na muliza carpet mara na muliza choo Amekuja akazungusha uhuru mpaka uhuru leo ajui nani alimpigia kura nani ajampigia kura. Bei ya ngunga imefika 230. Bei ya mbolea ndio ile imefika 1700 ni kweli ama si kweli? Hata huyu jamaa wake Kalonzo amemwangaisha hajamwangaisha. Si Kalonzo ameangaika. Imagine mpaka akakuja akamfanyisha interview Kalonzo Musyoka. Eh? Ati amemsahau jina anamuuliza jina yako nani? Kalonzo Musyoka. Eh, uko na kitambulisho? Ndio. Uh-huh. Umesoma? Eh, mimi ni senior counsel. <laughs> bala, bala jameni. Sikwele <laughs> wazi kweli. Baka siku hizi ukona ukiona rafiki yetu Kalonzo siku hizi nywele imeisha kwa kichwa bwana. Kusumbuliwa kuangaishwa. Eh mnanielewa? Si huyo jamaa ametesa watu wengi. Munisaidie jameni tupeleke huyu mzee wa kitandawili nyumbani awaache kutusumbua. Mtanisaidia tumpeleke huyu mzee wa kitandawili nyumbani. Mtanisaidia watu wa Mombasa. Mtanisaidia Mombasa. Hebu nione wana anasema tutasaidiana. <laughs> Arambe. 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 UDA. UDA. Jameni na waomba kura ya Hassan Sarai please watu wa Mombasa wapi kura ya Hassan Sarai Mtampatia huyu mungwana Hassan Sarai kura zenu Na nataka nichukue nafasi hii nimshukuru ndugu yetu Mike Sonko wapi nduru ya Mike Sonko shujaa Huyu Mike Sonko ni mtu wa bidii huyu Sonko amejikaza mtoto wa mtu ambaye hajulikani huyu Mike Sonko mpaka akakuwa gavana wa Nairobi ni kweli ama si kweli bidii ya huyu mungwana ilimfanya mpaka akawa gavana wa Nairobi lakini wale mabwenyenye watu wa handshake walimuangaisha huyu Sonko wakamtoa katika ugavana wake ambaye alipata kwa bidii yake kule Nairobi ni kweli ama si kweli wakamfuata mpaka hapa Mombasa wakati nyinyi watu wa Mombasa mlikuwa mnamtaka kumpatia huyu Songo nafasi wakamfuata mpaka na huku wakamtoa huyu mheshimiwa Songo ni kweli ama si kweli nikamwambia rafiki yangu Songo kwa sababu hawa watu wamekudharau kwa sababu hawa watu wamekudhulumu wacha tusimame pamoja ili madharau iishe na dhulma iishe na mimi nataka nikushukuru my brother Songo kwa kukubali kusimama na ndugu yetu Omar Sarai ili tuweze kutengeneza ile coalition ya watu ambao watakomboa Mombasa na watakomboa taifa letu la Kenya. Wapi nduru ya Mike Sonko jameni? Nimshukuru my brother Ali Mbogo. Huyu mungwana Ali Mbogo ni shujaa. Amekubali ya kwamba heri tuungane sisi wote tukomboe Mombasa ili tuweze kwenda mbele kama taifa kwa sababu wale wengine wanataka kutudunisha wanataka kutufanya sisi eti ni, ki, ni vibaraka wao wanataka kutufanya sisi eti ni watumwa wao lakini tumekataa utumwa tumekataa dhulma tumekataa madharau hii Mombasa tutaikomboa na hawa mashujaa huyu Ali Mbogo 
ule mungwana anaitwa Mike Sonko na huyu mungwana anaitwa Omar Sarai wasimame pamoja ili Mombasa hii ipige hatua ya kwenda mbele Jameni mtatusaidia tutengeneze serikali ya Mombasa County ya huyu Omar Sarai waungane na Ali Mbogo waungane na Mike Sonko na nyinyi watu wa Mombasa tufukuze Katerina na mradi wake Ebu ni yule wala anasema tutafukuza Katarina na baradi wake. Jameni, na waomba tena kwa unyenyekevu. Tumpatie huyu Mwaguya awe seneta wa Mombasa. Yule mwingine ni kibaraka. Yule mwingine hana usemi. Yule mwingine ni wakulala. Ule mwingine ndiye alikuwa anasindikiza poto wakati ilikuwa inatolewa yeye ndiye alikuwa anasindikiza. Mnataka ule faki aende nyumbani asiende nyumbani. Aende asiende. Mtapatia huyu Mwaguya jameni. Anatosha Mwaguya atoshi. Hebu nione kura ya Mwaguya jameni watu wa Mombasa. Na huyu mrembo wetu. Huyu <coughs> Barayan, huyu mrembo wetu wakili anaitwa Barayan. Huyu mrembo msichana mch, mdogo ambaye anaitwa ni wakili na ni Barayan. Mna mtampatia kura ya women rep. Hebu nione kura ya Barayan jameni. Tuko pamoja. Ma MCS wetu mtawapatia. Hebu nione wala wanasema MCS wetu watapata. Na mbunge wetu wa hapa bwana Shalo. Wapi nduru ya Shalo jameni? Eh. Hey. Shalo anatosha matoshi. Shalo anatosha matoshi. Wacha nichukue nafasi hii ni mkaribishe ngojeni kidogo. Huyu mungwana mnajua huyu e, mungwana wa kutoka Kisauni? Sawa sawa. Na huyu mzee wetu wa kutoka kule Likoni. Huyu Mwahima anatosha matoshi jameni kutoka Likoni. Asanteni sana. Na huyu Malila kutoka Changamwe. Na huyu mzee wetu bwana Nzai, Nzai anatosha matoshi. Asante sana. Wacha nichukue nafasi hii ni mkaribishe ndugu yetu Man Madvd Musalia Mudavadi Mudavadi jameni kwa dakika mbili Nimekuja hapa na mheshimiwa William Samoi Ruto kwa sababu sasa tunatoa mwito wa mwisho We have come here to make the final call The final call kwamba tarehe tisa mwezi huu wiki ijayo Earthquake ile kubwa inakuja. Tujipange wa Kenya watapata ile earthquake kubwa kupitia kwa kura yenu tukiingiza William Samoi Ruto awe rais wa Jamhuri ya Kenya. Kwa hivyo mimi nasimama hapa kuwasihi tujitokeze kwa wingi kabisa katika sehemu zote za Kenya, sehemu zote za pwani kwa sababu tunataka ushindi kwa round 1 hatutaki round 2 tunataka round 1 hebu sema round 1 round 1 round 1 kutoka kule Lamu hadi kule Lunga Lunga tunataka kila mtu ajitokeze tusiwe na uoga tusitishwe tunataka transition ya amani na mimi na hakika kwamba haya yatatendeka jambo langu la pili tumewaambia na leo mheshimiwa Ruto alitoa statement asubuhi tunataka watu wa energy ministry of energy tafadhali the minister for energy and the people responsible musizime mataa musipotoshe electricity wakati watu wanapiga kura Tumeambia wale wa airwaves mcheru na timu yake tafadhali musidhubutu kuziba airwaves 
wacha watu wasiliane mambo yende sawa sawa tunaambia mtu wa energy wewe mumeleta shortages mnaleta shortages za unga msilete shortages ya petroli ili watu wawe na shida ya kufika kwa vituo we want a proper election a peaceful election and it must happen IBC fanye vizuri na kila kitu kiwe sawa kwa hivyo mimi nawaambia tafadhali let us prove wale ambao wanataka kuvuruga Kenya yetu let us prove them wrong we show them that we have matured na sisi tuko sawa hapa Mombasa tafadhali munge Hassan mkono and i want to also thank Sonko Sonko you have gone through tribulations umeumia na mimi nasimama hapa nasema wale wangepigia Sonko kura na walikuwa wamekasirika na hata walikuwa nasema watasusia uchaguzi wasipige uchaguzi wa governor mimi nawaomba sasa suluhisho si kususia suluhisho si kukaa nyumbani suluhisho ni kutoka msimame pahali sonka amesimama ili wale wapata adabu ambaye hawatasahau milele na milele so i plead with you those who are to vote for sonko please come forward and vote for hassan vote for kenya kwanza and vote for william ruto and kenya shall be a better place sasa weka mkono juu tupige ile earthquake ya mwisho haya tingiza kabisa sema earthquake 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 asante ni sana ah ndugu yangu sasa hii earthquake inasonga